just like the title says, this is my newest auction um, win here. This is a Schecter Omen 6. Um, see if I get that up in there. Schecter Omen 6 Diamond Series. Um, it has a lot of scratches around the top here. And uh, the strings are strung wrong. As I can see, the uh, problem with it's missing two knobs here. This has a piece of plastic, a nylon nut on it, which does not work at all, as you can see. Uh, let's see, there's, the, you know, little scratches here and there. It's missing the ferrule right here. This one's poking out. Um, it's filthy. I mean, really filthy. Like, you can see on this, it's like grime from being used. Um, back here is a whole other mess of problems going on. I don't know if you could see in there, but there's a, like a nylon nut in there. There's a nut jammed in one of these other ones to hold the string in because they're missing all the ferrules. So I had ordered new ferrules. Um, hopefully I have the the top ones. I don't know if I do or not. Uh, so I guess um, I'll just get started with uh, taking these strings off here and then I'm going to start cleaning it a bit. Now I gotta get that nut out. There's two of them in there. Let's see how we're gonna get these out. Let's uh, see if I can... See, there's a nut in, in this one, and there's a nylon nut in that one. Uh, how to get these... How am I gonna get these out? Hmm. Okay. So, I had bought a pick set. I got a pick set here. Let me see if I could do that. Let's use this pick here. Okay. That one might not work. Let's try this pick. Oh, this one work. This one might work. I don't want to damage the guitar. This looks like a little wood chip came out, but we got that one out. Let's see if we can get this one out now. Come on. Come on. Come out. Oh, it's out. So this is what I, I got here. I use these nuts. Alright. Now I have already purchased new ones of them. Okay, let's see what I purchased here. I got new ferrules. Um, I bought a whole new set. I do believe I bought a set for the top two. But I'm not sure. I gotta um, look for them. I don't, I might have misplaced them. Alright, so let's get this, uh, let's get the neck off. I'm gonna lay this flat now. So I can get this neck off. Okay. Try to tighten it first. Okay, they tighten up. That one's tight. This one's this one's stripped. This one here is stripped. That one's stripped. So the neck's been off before. A lot of scratches. I'd love to touch these scratches up because I think this is a beautiful guitar. Sorry for my hands all being in your way there, but I'm just trying to get these screws out right now. Get these screws out. Take the plate off. That's going to need cleaning. All right, let's see. just gonna slide off, or does this one lift off? This one lifts off. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, looks like that fell off, which is the the bridge is off. Let's get you. Uh, let's 
zoom out now so you can see what's going on here. Okay, I got this. This is a new jack. I bought a new jack for it. I got strings. This time I'm going to be putting on some uh, Diodario strings. Got two new knobs, black knobs, and the ferrules, of course. We'll put all that over there. These screws, there's two long ones, two short ones. They are magnetic. One of these is stripped. Well, I guess I'd have to worry about the neck, not this as much. Let's see what we got here. These, un this is unscrewing. I don't know if I need... Yeah, I'm going to take these off just to clean them. I think that would be a good idea. My gloves there. I should be wearing them gloves to work on this one. This one's so filthy. Okay. Pickups are filthy, but I could clean all that up. Switch is working. I should have tested. Well, I guess just there was really no way to test it. It only had two strings on it, but... Um, so I'll be cleaning this up. Let's open up the back of this to see what the insides are looking like. I don't know if anybody, anybody's been in here, which I'm pretty sure they have if the neck's been off. I'm pretty sure they've been in this, too. So I don't know how I'm going to fix that strip neck. That's kind of got me a little worried. And this looks like it's a totally different screw. Way smaller than the other two. Hmm. I don't know if that's on purpose. How does that come out now? Use my fingernail. There we go. It's not real wood grain. Beautiful guitar though. What a shame. Why would they put a fake wood grain on it? Hmm. I think it's fake. I'm pretty sure it's fake. But we're gonna fix try to get it all nice and clean. It looks like it's a matte finish. Um, I'm just going to use my normal alcohol. Uh, don't know if I should pull these out. Being the wires are so tight. I don't think there's any. There's no slack in these. They've got them all bound up with zip tie. And I kind of don't want to touch that if I don't have to. Um, I guess we could get try to get this nylon nut off. We're going to have to unscrew this first though. It looks like mix match screws here as well. Hmm. Yeah there. See if I can get it by hand. It's a number one screw and this one's a number two. Somebody's been into this guitar. That's a number two screw. Alright, what do we got here? Let's see if we can get this nylon nut off. Okay, I got it off. Looks like it's homemade. It's been cut. And if you see that, it looks like a homemade nut. Alright. Now the question is, do I redo, reuse this one or do I use the new one? Um, I'm pretty sure the one that's on here is probably better quality. But I will... Um, I think I'll reuse the... I think I'll use the new one. Means I bought it. I if I might use it. Let's uh, tuck that in there for now. So we're going to clean this up. 
Okay, let's get the clean in. This is gonna be like fast forward it and all that fun stuff because this is pretty boring. It's got, ugh, I don't know what this stuff is. It kind of looks like someone sneezed all over it. It's looking a lot better, and it's like someone put some kind of wax on it, and I don't like it. To me, that's totally ruined it, but whatever, I mean, to each his own. So what I'm going to do now is try to clean this thing up the best I can. This thing is looking nasty. I know this alcohol is going to take the oils out of the wood, but I'm not concerned with that right now. Mainly. I'm not concerned with that right now, mainly because I want to get it clean. And I can put oils back in it. As you can see, look at this. Whatever's on this, it's just disgusting. I guess this is from hands being on it. But we're going to get it nice and clean. Hopefully this alcohol won't loosen the nut. I'm guessing they waxed it. Try to make it look shiny. That's what it look like. It actually looked like car wax on it. Because I think if it was like furniture polish or something. God, this is. I'm going to take a paper towel watch. Ew. Ew. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with right there and leave that alone. We'll make better adjustments after I get the strings on it. But there's a lot of grime on this. So this is gonna be a lot of off of video cleaning to get this nice. Okay, I'm going to, let's uh, zoom in a little bit. Good. Try to touch up these chips. I'm gonna use this. It's a paper me marker. I tried the paint pen, and I just it just dried glossy. So I, I don't want to use that. A sharpie dries like with a purple tint. I might try that because it dries dull. I just tried this in this little chip, and it still has a little purple tint to it, but it's not as bad as the sharpie. Okay, now that I got all that touched up and everything, I'm going to flip it over. Um, this hole here was stripped. So I think what I'm going to do is, is I got a little poker here. I'm going to stick it in there and try to dig out all that sawdust. Squirts of glue down in there. Throw some wood slithers down in there. Let's throw these tuners on. So this one went here, I believe. Nope. It was like this. This one went here. 
because it says a C, C, yep. So, here. I'm just going to loosely put them on where they belong right now. And then we can tighten them down after I get the screws in the back. All right. Got these little guys. Let's see if these guys will work. Looking good. All right. And now these, these guys, and I got these, they're a little too big, so I think I'm going to have to, I'm going to grind one down and see what it looks like, see if it'll fit. Here's the old guy, if you can see the difference in these, they're too dark. Two different sizes same roundness I just couldn't get this size I didn't know where to get them so I'm gonna make them fit Seems to be sticking up higher than the rest, but it's not sticking up to where it's beyond the wood, so I'm happy with it. I'm not happy with all these scratches. This scratch like this that I can't touch up. I'm gonna go get a stain marker. See if that'll touch it up, because it's this is a print. It's not real wood grain. Which upsets me. Okay. I'm done with that. Done with that. Okay, so now we got the jack to mess with. The knobs. Let's put new knobs on this. Huh. 
Okay. Now you got these guys. Now, let's put this bat neck back on. Lay it flat. Small screws go in the front. These big screws, I want to clean the threads because that could actually strip it out too. If you got stuff gummed up in the threads. I'll make sure they're clean really good. I'm just using my fingernails. I want to make sure I clean up in here real good. And this is going to go I believe like that. It's the only thing I couldn't really get too clean. I tried. But it doesn't come apart. So. I guess it is what it is. But. They should be in there pretty good. Um, I'm guessing the screws go into the front because that's the way the intonation was set. Could be wrong. But this gap's wider than that one. So, like this is a wide gap and then it gets smaller. So, that has to be the way it goes. I know there's, I've seen them put them both ways really. So I have no clue. If anybody knows the right way, let me know. And I'll fix it if I have it on wrong. Now, I'm going to be... Oh, you know what? We're going to be using these Diodarios. The Diodarios, um... I don't know. They were given to me. So, instead of wasting them, I'm going to use them. Alright, well there it is, there's my, there's my Diamond Series Omen 6 Schecter. All I gotta do is nip the strings. Uh, I'm sure you don't want to see me do that, whatever, just nipping strings. This is what I use to um, tune it with, I got a fender. I had the other ones that clamp onto the, to the head, the head, but I, I don't seem to get any good luck with them. Uh... I'm going to get a marker, one of them um, stain markers. I thought I had some, but apparently I don't. And I'm going to touch up, you know, see if I can touch up these scratches that are on this. But this, this was probably one of the most expensive guitars that I've gotten so far that I have gotten from an auction. I had won this one probably for $70. And with shipping, I think the shipping took it to like close to 100 It was like uh, probably like $90 with shipping. So, I mean, for the, for the um, price that I paid for it, I mean, you can't go wrong. But the parts that I had to buy for it, that's, you know, that, um, I had to get strings, well, someone gave me a string, so, but I had to get the ferrules, which I think they came to, like, probably $12, and the top ferrules, I replaced them because it was missing one, and the knobs, so I'm probably, probably looking at, probably, like, 100, 120, 130 for this. Not too bad, I don't think, for a Schecter Diamond Series. My son will probably claim it. 
probably steal it from me. There it is. I, ho I hope you liked the video. I hope it inspires somebody to go out there, you know, do the work on the guitar yourself. You don't need that much experience. I don't have any, and I'm doing it. So, there you go. Beautiful guitar. I just wish it was real wood grain. That's, that's what upsets me the most, is that it's not real wood grain. And I'm really, I'm really liking it now. I just, I had gone upstairs and told my son, I was like, I'm not liking it. I'm not happy with it. But now that I got it tuned, I'm kind of happy with it again. So, me and him might be fighting over dibs on this guitar. But if you like the video, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. If you want to see more, you know. If you want, it keeps, keeps me making videos. Uh... I have another snow blower to work on, but I think I'm going to save that till when it's closer to snow time. Um, so whatever comes up, I have two cars that I want to start working on. Once I get a little bit of money coming, I might do that and I might start um, streaming my gaming again. But until then, I hope you liked the video, and I'll see you next time.